And we back. The Charlotte Hornets need our help. Because they're just bad. I'm, I'm sorry, Hornets fans. You, you got to accept the fact. They're bad by design. Don't get me wrong. They're definitely bad by design. But they're they're bad. Michael Jordan might be the GOAT at the actual plan of the game, but running the team and all that other stuff, he needed a little bit of help. So he called in Kenny Beach. Imagine Michael Jordan calling my phone. Nah, never. Um, ignore the fact that I'm wearing a Bulls jersey while rebuilding the team that's in the same conference. I, I don't, I didn't feel like changing. I do have a nice vintage Charlotte Hornets shirt, but I'm just not going upstairs. So this is the roster. This might be one of the longer rebuilds because this ain't, this ain't pretty, man. I do want to say this is not in the world of hyper realism. It might have a little bit of tinge of realism, but not hyper, right? Um, and I'm looking, if I'm looking at this roster, there's only two players on this team that I feel pretty confident are going to be here at the end when we raise and Larry O'Brien. It's the Mello and it's Mark Williams. Everybody else I have no attachment to. I think JT Thor is cool. No attachment to him. I trade him in a fir for a first round pick in a heartbeat. You know what I'm saying? Um, so just ride with me as we continue to lose. We got 20 losses or 20 wins on the season so far. I'm cool if we never win another game this season. Let's end the year on an 18 game losing streak. Oh, however many games are here. And uh, okay, we won a game. I'll see you in the offseason. Nobody cares about this part. Sports. Do you care? No, because this is our 1000th NBA 2K23 video, and they're typically the same. Um, it's not until we get to the second year where things start to get real interesting. The NBA champion is going to be, I'm going to take a go out on the limb and say it's the Bulls. Uh, nope. But but whatever, the Kings are in the finals, and that's who we are rooting for. No disrespect to Milwaukee. They get number two in the last couple of years. All right. Um, cool. I, I'm not going to let some of these people retire because I feel like if you're still a contributing NBA player, you shouldn't be able to retire, personally. All right. Do we care about any of this? Greg Popovich retired. Um, all of that. Uh, Melo retired. He, he didn't have a job, so I didn't change it, man. I didn't change it. So reject all of these. We care about this. This is what we care about more than anything in the world right now. 14% chance of keeping that pick at, at and getting it number one. It ends up being number three. Okay, I, we, can, we can live with number three. We can live with number three. I'm not mad about it. I'm just happy we didn't drop to like six because that has happened in videos before. We have one of the top picks projected and we feel very even where we are. We'll take it. Um, which actually works out perfectly because we had Vic in a video with the Spurs last week. We didn't need him again in another video, even though that's what the Hornets want to do in real life, obviously. Um, and I don't know if actually if I had Scoot. So, I mean, number two pick could have been cool, too. But instead, we're going to have no way you draft Brandon Miller, two over Scoot Henderson. Should we? Sh what team is that? Should we force them to take Scoot? I know we said we not like it's the Spurs, bro. They want Scoot Henderson, right? If he's if he's available, I know we said we're not living in a world of realism, but sh should I just draft him and then send him and flip it? I'll do it. I'll do it. I I'm, I'm gonna do it for this one instance. I'm gonna do it in this one instance because no way they got up to the two the the number two spot and they like ah we'd rather we'd, we'd rather take Brandon Miller when this is a top two heavy draft. So I'm just gonna be good guy Kenny right now. This is the last time I'm doing something like this. Um, because I actually really want to see what Brandon Miller was like in game two, so it kind of works out perfect. And the Spurs already got two wings over there that they really like. We got we got Brandon Miller on the team. Cool. We want to trade Terry Rozier. Um, that's the number two thing on my, my checklist. I'm letting James Booknight walk. He don't play for us anyway. What team do we feel like would be interested in a Terry Rozier type player? Let's see what Trey Finder says first. 83 overall, really good score. We could go get Zach Levine or Jared Allen for the low. I ain't going that far with it, but man, the Trey find is kind of kind of juice. Stop, ain't it? I mean, it's Celtics 2024. Why do we not have our own 2024? That scares me a little bit. I don't know what's going on. Um, is there a trade I'm not thinking about? I'm trying to get John Collins on the team, man. Say yes. All right, John Collins, welcome to the team. We, we lost Miles Bridges, but we got another half flyer to run the break with LaMelo Ball. LaMelo jumps up four. Up two for John Collins. We'll take that. Mark Williams jumps up two. I got to figure out this Gordon Hayward thing last year for his deal, so he's, he's a better... Prospect potentially. I brought in Isaiah Jones, a one year, two million. Nobody wanted him. I would take his shooting. We brought back PJ Washington, but he's kind of ex expendable now that we got John Collins on the team. This was a successful offseason by us being the good guys and getting Brandon Miller instead of School Henderson. We're going to run Ball, Miller, Hayward, Collins, and Mo Williams. Mo Williams. Mark Will. I saw, I saw M. Williams and thought, Mo, that's crazy. Isaiah Jones coming off the bench with PJ, Drew Eubanks. Um, and then Cody Martin. I'm going to put Gordon Hayward on the block right now. Just to, I mean, I doubt there's going to be a team that want to give me some for him. But he's still two and a half star value. First game after the offseason is a loss. LaMelo's going to have to carry. He shot one for 10 for three that game. Yuck. When is the first win going to happen? Oh, j bro, this man is the, even in the game, he broke his wrist the second game of the season, bro. 
That's insane bad luck. We might never win a game. All right, there's the first win. Of course, it's against the Bulls. If you want to have a great night, go against the Bulls. LaMelo versus Lonzo. Um, John Wall is on the team with Boogie Cousins. Mike Conley's on the team now. What the heck did they do? I, don't, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I'll run that team. Triple-double for Brandon Miller, by the way. I don't know if y'all see that. Five offensive rebounds, 14 assists. Brandon Miller with a playmaker, y'all. Okay. All right. All right. I'm here for it. He's averaging almost 10 assists per. Now, there's only a couple games to his career, but he's averaging almost 10 assists per as a wing. Oh, snap. I ain't know he was like that. I'm just looking around the league and trying to figure out how we get rid of Gordon Hayward. And, like, Paul George pops up. Um, or Darren Fox pops up. I, 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 didn't, ex I didn't expect it. That's all. That's, that's the only reason I'm showing you. I didn't expect it to be such good players. Kind of. He 100% getting off this team. It's just not happening right now. It happened Fe February 1st. He's, he got a little over a month left on this roster. We ain't good. Which is good. Um, but again, I don't even know if we have our pick because you saw in our pick calendar stuff, it didn't have it. So I, I'm a little afraid that we lose it right now just to give our pick away. And I don't feel like Googling where that pick is at. So <laughs> we just going to have to surprise you lost your pick to the Spurs or something like that. So we didn't trade him because none of the trades made sense. Um, we didn't get Ricky Deer either, which I didn't think we were, even though he was having such a great season. Here are all the other awards, though. We were worse this season than last year. Um, LaMelo made an All-NBA team. First team, actually. He averaged 31 and, and 10 and a half. We know LaMelo's going to do this. We just need to get him pieces. Now, I think that Brandon Miller was great. Okay, so they're saying that he was. Averaged about 11 and 8 and 5. Sh solid shooting and splits 42% from 3. He just, his shot tendency's low. Yeah. Let's hope that that goes up throughout the course of his career. But he looked really good. He looked really good. And we're about to have another lottery pick, I think. Again, I don't even know if we own our own pick. And if we don't, I... We'll see what happens. Uh, I just have a tougher job, you know, just a tougher job making a rebuild happen. That's cool. So if, if it's too easy to get, you don't want it. You know what I'm saying? You, you want to have a, a harder rebuild. Here we go. Um, or do we have a pick? Let's see. Charlotte. Yep. Potentially number two. Do we keep it? Um, nope. Just the Spurs have that pick. Now I got to figure out why the Spurs got our pick. I'm seeing everything that says 2024. We have our own pick. And now I'm confused on why 2K has it otherwise. Oh, yeah. That's my pick. That's my pick. It says right here. The Charlotte Hornets first round pick of San Antonio is protected for selections 1 through 16 in 2023. Ended up being number three, right? So we keep that. It's top 14 protected in 2024. That's this season. And as you can see, it's the sixth pick, which means it's our pick. I'm going to force my... I'm, you you going to give me my pick. I ain't, I ain't giving it away. 2K, you got to be better. I'm trying to give my pick away to the Spurs. We already did the Spurs a favor in this video. I ain't doing it again. They're not just getting my pick for free. All right, Steve Clifford, you're done. Um, We got to get a better coach in. I need somebody that's going to run, bro. Yeah. I, I'm not going to get Michael Stafford because that's too easy. I'm going to get like a, a, a Dante uh, Logan or something. Somebody like that. That's just going to run and gun because that's the type of team we got. You know? Oh, Steve Clifford was face to face. That's funny. Oh, it's actually really funny. Um... We, no, we're going to get Coach Mark, uh, Mark D. I don't know why he's a free agent coach. They were just really good this season. I don't care. If he's available, I'm going out there. He rejected it. Okay. I gave in and gave Michael Stafford a contract. Fight me. I mean, he's, he's space and pace as well. All right. This is where things really start to get going. Um, I don't know who's in this draft. I did some scouting, though. Oh, my God. It's a point guard who's a 79. D'Angelo Oh, so he, does, he doesn't have a, a high ceiling. Okay. Okay. These guys don't have crazy high ceilings. Who is the best player available as far as potential goals? Patrick Beverly, I'll pass. Uh, this guy's 18 years old. Uh, Dan the Man, is his, he's from Lithuania. Dan the Man is his projection. Potentially, he don't really do much other than offend a little bit. Here's a power forward. We already got a power forward that we like. A backup PG. You don't want to spend a sixth overall pick on a PG when you already got a PG like LaMelo. I feel like we have to end up with one of these two dudes. Even though this Timmy Rice character looks kind of nice, another power forward. Again, we don't really need that. We don't really need it, especially when P.J. Washington is still on the team. But he don't have to be. I got a lot of people say they won't resign, by the way. One, two, three, four. Four players say they not. They just they just won't. As if they had, like, a big choice. Like, I basically, I get to decide at the end of the day if you resign or not. You know what I'm saying? I got your bird right. <laughs> you probably didn't know that, though. I drafted the guy out of Lithuania. Um, just because he was the best shooting guard available. And with that pick, there was a power four, a couple power fours that were better. This guy ended up being better. He, 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 I didn't like his stats and stuff. Like, he can't do anything. Uh, okay, a good mid-range jump shoot. He's only 6'4". Nah, our guy out of Lithuania is 6'6", 
three badges, he's only 18, and he's a shot creator that's at least better at a lot of the different stuff than the other dude. So I'm not tripping about that. Lamelo's trying to sign an offer. <laughs> Where do you think you're going, buddy? Where do you think you're going? We're matching all of that. And got, we got $19 million. All right, let's use this $19 million effectively, though. Let's let's try to bring somebody in that can help us at least make a playoff push this season. Actually, let's trade Cody Martin, man. He's just sitting on the team. He don't get a lot of PT. He's making $8 million, a little bit more than what we want from him to be making. Also traded away P.J. Washington for first um, because there's a, there's a player in the market that I really want, and it's OG Ananobi. And we can sign OG to be our two, and then we can use the leftover $13 million to build a bench. Actually, I don't even need to give him that much money because he's got no offers. So let's let's take down a little bit more. Let's say 24-5. Uh, 24-5 is the offer. Boom. With zero offers on the table, please just accept. Oh, did we do all of that? Thank you. We did. I was going to say, if we did all of that for no reason, I was going to be really upset. Okay, so now our potential starting lineup is LaMelo, um, OG Adenobi, Brandon Miller, John Collins, and Mark Williams. I need Mark Williams to have a big upgrade this year. We'll see if that's true. And now he's got to build out a bench. We got Isaiah Joe and then this guy who I might make a small four. I might make a backup point guard. He's a decent playmaker. Secondary position is point guard. We'll see what the rest of the market look like real quick. I count that as a successful offseason. Um, LaMelo's great. Brandon Miller's looking better and better. Mark Williams jumps up three. We kind of plateaued with John Collins. That's completely okay. We ain't really thinking about him getting to a 90 overall club. OG is still pretty solid. Uh, we brought in Cambridge Williams. We brought in, brought back Drew Eubanks, and we brought in Akil Alexander Walker, and it was only for three million dollars. I brought, I brought back Gordon Hayward, all right? and then he got way worse. So my fault. I, he was the best player available at that time for the amount of money that we had. So I just, I gave him the money. He ain't gonna play. He ain't gonna play. That's fine. This is a playoff team, man. Based on what we seen from Melo Ball um, earlier last year or all year last year, he was an All NBA first team player. Whoo! This is a playoff team. Yo, Eleven for twelve for three. Slow down, Mr. Ball. That's insane. Um, whoa. Yeah, this is a playoff team, bro. Yeah, yeah, I feel good. Now, I'm a little bit afraid about John Collins, though. Um, if we go over to contract extensions, assess test free agency. Don't love that. He's got a player option. I, yeah, I just don't love it. Now, I'm just saying his money is kind of nice. If if he want to test, we might have to flip him and get somebody else. I don't know. I'm just saying. Anything is really possible right now. Looking around the league, I saw this. A selling Memphis Grizzlies team. John Moran and them ain't getting the done for some reason. They really want uh, DeMonte Sabonis. I don't blame him. DeMonte Sabonis is a really good basketball player. They also have DeMar DeRozan on their team um, on a one-year deal. <laughs> Wasn't good enough. I'm trying to get Jared Jackson Jr. If we're going to trade away John Collins, our power forward, we want to get an upgrade. So we're going to go and talk to them. The contracts are very, very similar. Like, already. They want... 2026 first is that this season no that's next season from brooklyn we got a brooklyn pick um and then they want our pick for 2026 brooklyn is really bad right now i'll show you brooklyn's roster because it's loki kind of crazy brace yourself uh Kyrie Irving is back they're really bad this year but they'll give us demar as well yo this is a that's an all-in type trade demar comes off our bench now he's our sixth man He's 35, but he's still averaging 16 points per, and he's shooting it great. That's a huge upgrade. Um, and that makes me think that we should try to upgrade a second time to get a backup center. Because right now it's Drew Eubanks, who's fine. He's doing cool. He's on fire. But, but did we can see what other teams are selling to rebuild him. It's, it don't hurt to have some type of uh, assurance. What team was out there? A lot of rebuilding. Another selling team. They have Sabonis. We could have helped. We could have did a three-teamer. They could have got draft capital or whatever. The Grizzlies could have got Sabonis because he's on a list or whatever. All right, nah. Another selling team. Do y'all got a center? Click Capella, 22 million. We ain't got 20, 20, 22 million to make up, though. Um, so it look like we might not be able to make another center happen unless we go get somebody on a rebuilding team instead. Zubac is there, $11 million. I don't know if we have that, but I'll, I'll go. I'll see what's up. Uh, rebuilding 2C, by the way. I'm um, just saying that aloud so you understand. But look, our Terry Rozier trade for them was working out. They the two seed. It took a couple years, but they the two seed. And not a lot of centers available. I let, they run Sharp is making $4 million. It's actually kind of a steal when, you, when I think about it. So I'll, I'll put him on the list as well. Yeah, Dayron Sharp is definitely the dude. Uh, $3 million is something we can make up. We don't really have that many uh, contracts available. So about $3 million. Gordon, this is where your time comes. Uh, they say no to that. We will give you... A, we give you a second. Matter of fact, you know what? The best thing to do is reverse trade fine. Let me let me stop acting like I'm I, I'm him 
and let the, the computer do everything we need. Watch this. Perfect trade coming up. They want a first round pick swap. Drew Eubanks now. I'll do I'll do a swap. I'll do a swap for this. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. We'll do a swap. Um, and now we feel even better because Dayron Sharp is, is an upgrade over Drew Eubanks. Not by a lot, but still an upgrade nonetheless. And then we do have that. How's the rookie playing? He's got a little bit of minutes. He ain't doing much. Okay, cool. Are we a contender? Only tab will tell first game with Jaron Jackson Jr. on the roster against... Oh, man. Oh, Brandon Miller. Torn tricep? Eight to ten weeks. Hold on. Let's do some counting. Okay, so that would get him back in time for the playoffs. So I guess it ain't too terrible. But that's not his first injury of the season. Um, just the first one y'all saw. Luka averages a 30-point triple-double. Uh, Raymond Vaughn wins... Um, Rookie of the Year, Anthony Black, six man, Robert Williams, DPOY, Anthony Black, most approved as well. Quinn Snyder with 60 total wins. Shout out to him. Um, the team is good. LaMelo's all NBA first team again, 26 and 12, which is good because that means he didn't have to do everything no more. Actually, his minutes per game went down because he didn't have to play 37 minutes for a chance to win a game because we like that around here. You know what I'm saying? Um, Jaron made an all defensive team. So, second half of the season, Jaron was dope. Average 16 and 7 with two blocks. We love to see that. We love to see his three point percentage go up. Whatever, whatever, whatever. So, we are the three seed. We're going against the Knicks. I think we have a chance. I'm going to shorten my rotation. You know, I think after that deadline, we was really, really good. I can't prove it. I, I'm just going to go out on the limb and say we were really, really good. And Brandon Miller is back. Jaron is here. OG is here. Like, we. We are going to start Mark Williams because he's the guy. He averaged a double-double with two blocks. We feel better about him than Dayron. But we, we like the fact that Dayron was good enough for the, for the coach to even think, hey, maybe we should start him. So that's good. Uh, DeMar is a guy that you want to play a little bit more in the playoffs for sure. He's DeMar DeRozan. I mean, I'm just saying he's 30, uh, 35 years old, so he ain't the best version of himself. But he might be able to clutch up every once in a while. The Knicks have Jalen Brunson, Steele, Julius. Oh, the same team. They have the same, how many years in the future are we? Three years? Um, same team. Same start five, at least. And they win game one. We win game two. We win game three. Game four is us. And we get out of that first round. That's beautiful. To go against the Cleveland Cavaliers. Now, y'all know some Cavs are different. They also haven't made many changes to their team. Same starting five now. But Karis LeVert is worse now than he is in 2022, 2023. So we'll take that. E-Mob is better. Uh, they got 390s. We have 190 and a bunch of 80s. But Jaron is very close to that club. It's a matchup thing. Game one is a loss. Okay, their backcourt gave us the absolute work. We're going to act like that it happened. Game two. Uh, game three. I forgot they had Harrison Barnes, too. Remember that offseason pickup. Big game for LaMelo, though. Big game for LaMelo. We need, we need some of these other dudes to step up. DeMar, big game off the bench. Come on. Come on. There we go. Brandon, thank you. This is year two Brandon, by the way. This is year two. Jaron with a big game. LaMelo with a dub dub. Come on. Three to us. You love to see it. Where? where? Ooh. Ooh. They lost Darius Garland to injury. He has a sprained toe. Oh, my God. They lost a decent amount. Bro, they win this series. They win this series. This is another 81 overall player. This is another 81 overall player. I don't think these guys played at all. Yeah, they haven't played at all. Okay, so I don't feel too bad. Oh. Ice Control has played. So they've lost they've lost three rotational players. That's that is why um Karis Levert is starting because they had Toby and they had Ice and both of those dudes are injured. We might walk out of here. Not might, we should walk out of here in six. We do. Hey, you need injury luck to win championships. That's been proven time and time again. Here are the one seed. Terry Rozier potentially getting his revenge. You know who's real upset right now? John Collins. Because he ain't want to resign. And his team, his team did make the playoffs though. They were selling and they made it. And they lost to Victor Wimanyama. Um, but if he would have just said, I'll resign, he might be in this situation. But then again, Jaron being on the team make us more confident. We are the better team on paper. Across the board. We smoking them. But they had the better regular season record. So... They might have a good bench. I don't know. Game one is a Charlotte Hornets win. Trey Young can't do it by yourself, my boy. See, look, Brandon Miller got help. Brandon Miller hit 11 threes out of 12 attempts. Brandon Miller got help around here. You know what I'm saying? Um, except for that game. Okay, we're going to ignore that one. Okay, there it is. Charlotte Hornets back on the map, baby. Come on. We two games away. Not Simcast. We two games away. Steal. Uh, Trey Young is that good where he can carry? Not carry enough. Jalen Green versus LaMelo Ball in the final. Oh! Ball Brothers meet in the finals. Oh, my God. LaVar. Le this is LaVar's dream. This is LaVar's dream. The Ball Brothers meet in the NBA finals. 
bro, we they got a seven overall on their team starting. I don't love that for them. We also got our best perimeter defender, no Giannobi, on their star player and Jalen Green. Let's get it, bro. Game one. They're the three C. We are three C. Game one, LaMelo with a 50 and 16 game. Near perfect from the field. Jaron fouled out, but whatever. Um, game two. Bro, we did this fast. I'm not, oh my, Jaron with a 50? And then LaMelo with almost a, a 40 20 game. What is happening? The, the guys are the guys. Game three. Oh man, this happened way faster than I expected. This happened way faster. Jaron has seven turnovers at the power four position. I don't like that. We still won by three. And we did it. Whoa, LaMelo's 23 years old. And we he just had a 21 to 1 assist to turnover ratio in a closeout NBA Finals game. Retired number one in Charlotte right now. Do it. In the playoffs, he averaged 31 and 16. What? Brandon Miller, what did you average? 16 and about nine. Bro, my my playmaking guys with 50% from three on the on the playoffs. I mean, I can't make this up. The boys just were better. And we got Debo his championship. So he 35. He might retire after this season. He might ride into the sunset. Got that ring. Now I'm a guaranteed Hall of Famer. He said, let's run it back. I'm not listening, though. Thank y'all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, leave it a like. The Charlotte Hornets win their championship, baby. We did it.